how to use Kratio CRM for beginners. Hey everyone, welcome. We hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll be talking about Kratio CRM and how to actually get started using it and how to actually go ahead and do whatever you want to actually do within this platform. I will show you the basics. I will show you the dashboard and exactly how to add or create, for example, leads, uh, contacts, and so on. So basically, uh, we will need to go ahead and click on or just open up any browser, go to creatio.com and we would want to obviously create an account. I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. Uh, and let's just click on try it for free on the top right and go ahead and actually go for the CRM uh, one here. So I'm just going to click on try it for free. And we will need to go ahead and uh, sign up for Cratio. Uh, uh, <clears throat> here you can go ahead and add your email and password, obviously, or if you want to sign up with Google and so on. It's just, you know, simple signing up process. I'm not going to go ahead and take much time with this. I'm just going to go ahead and sign up and get back to you once I'm done. Okay, so once you actually go ahead and enter your email or continue with Google or Facebook, uh, it's going to ask you about your company, your phone number, and I believe the last one was your name or something. Uh, it's just basic questions about yourself. So after you do that, you should find yourself within this dashboard, which is going to be the homepage. So here in the homepage, obviously just going to give you an, an overview of some of the things that are very important, so like total opportunity, opportunity count and amount and open leads and more stuff here. So basically, we have a lot of tools to work with within Creatio. Let's go through them basically. So on the top left, we have the list of the services that Creatio offers. You can go ahead and see the homepage, which is uh, going to be in um, your main dashboard basically with all sorts of information that you could uh, find to be useful. Uh, obviously, once you actually start a free trial, it's going to give you a lot of, um, you know, samples and stuff when it comes to contacts, uh, numbers, and all of those things. Um, but this is going to be your main dashboard here within the home page. Next up, you have your contacts here. Here's going to be the list of all the contacts that you are dealing with and whether uh, basically your your relationship with them. So you can see here we have employee, we have contact person, we have customer. For example, if it's a lead, you can also set that up. Um, and you can have more stuff like, for example, account, which is going to be the company name of the individual, phone number, and more stuff about the actual person. So we can here see that we have suppliers, we have uh, different types of uh, contacts that we can just add. And not only that, but uh, Creatio offers um, creating folders and adding uh, specific contacts and specific folders, which could actually be very useful. Next, we have the calendar. Here is going to be a calendar view of all the things that you have, um, meetings, whatever it may be that you have with uh, in your business is going to show up in this calendar view. And you can see exactly what you want to see in a highlighted view um, or like over the top view where you can just see it all uh, from one space. Here we have the tasks uh, place where we'll have all types of tasks that are um, related to us here. So we can see uh, all of them and we can go ahead and actually view them, create a new one and so on. And we can see the owner of the actual task uh, and we can see all of the category and the start date. And we can also add more stuff to the buckets here if that's what you want. Here we have the accounts or the actual um, companies. So we can actually go ahead and see them see um you know if it's related to a customer and so on we have the cases so for example if it's a problem raised um exactly what types of category whether it's, whether it's an incident service request and all of those things are going to be or a problem for example is all going to show up in the cases tab which is very very useful for us to, you know to track and solve as soon as possible so we can also see the status for each case or problem. We can see whether it's a new one. So for example, this one is going to be a new um, case here and say service request. 
and it's not assigned to any person so you may want to actually go ahead and take a look at that and assign it to a specific person then we have something some others where we have the actual assignee and we can see that it is in progress we can see others where it's actually resolved uh, waiting for response and so on so this is all in the, the actual uh, cases here next up we have the services here is going to be the list of the services we have the service agreements this is going to be the agreements between you know the actual uh, customers uh, for the actual services here so you can actually see all of this here knowledge base queues queues settings and more stuff if you want to dive deeper into each one you can just feel free to do so for example like the queues one uh, you would want to, to have a list of the queues and here queue settings is going to set up exactly like in what way like who, whose priority is going to be the main priority and whose is not and so on this is going to be all um, self-explanatory once I actually explain how to um, figure out a few things here for example contacts and tax, uh, tasks and so on you also have more stuff like dashboards feed and a chat uh, and the landing pages and web forms, uh, which is going to be very um, useful, where you can actually gather information uh, from people or customers. Feed is just going to be your feed, obviously, so you can actually see that. Uh, and here we have more stuff uh, like the actual feed, but, you know, smaller. And we have the notifications and settings and profile information. Now that we have explained exactly what we have in Creatio and um, the list of services that Creatio does actually offer, let's actually talk about how to go ahead and set things up, for example. For example, you would want to obviously first add your contacts. So you can just feel free to click on contacts and click on new. And here we can actually go ahead and create a new contact and we can add um, all sorts of things but before I actually do that uh, I will show you exactly how to do this but before that you can also import contacts if you have been uh, or if you have actually used Excel or have a file that is proper so you can actually import them through this way or again you can just go to new and uh, create your contact here so for example you would want to add a first name last name middle name if that's necessary and then birth date again it's not really required the only required field here is the first name here we have the type which is basically what's your relationship with your customer here so contact person customer employee and so on uh, if it's a lead you wouldn't want to create it from here i will show you exactly how to do so in a sec uh, we have account so basically, basically which company uh, full job title and so on so you can just feel free to add all of this and click on save and it's going to be added to your contacts list so here we have uh i said i will show you exactly how to add a lead and i'll show you that right now uh, to create a lead or something that you cannot really find from here for example tasks you can just go to tasks click on new and create a task it's self-explanatory same goes for accounts you can just go to accounts click on new and so on so if it's something that you cannot really find in here in the list of the services, for example, leads, you have this other method and uh, in creating them. So here we have problems, we can create them and so on. Now, let's say we want to add leads and we can't really find it in here. Click on the plus icon on the top left. And then here you have all the things that you can actually go ahead and create. We have lead here. We have a campaign. We have activity where we can actually go ahead and send out an email directly from Croatia, which is very, very um, nice and just make things a lot easier for yourself. So here you can set up the from to and then uh, subject and so on. And you can also attach items here if you want. Uh, not only this, but you have uh, you can create tasks and stuff. We have the lead where you can actually go ahead and add the lead problem account case change and more stuff like invoice events and more so you can actually go ahead and set up bulk emails select add employees and more stuff here so if you really want to create something or add a new thing it's going to be much easier for you to click on the plus icon and just add them right away for example if it's lead 
I just clicked on lead and we can just go ahead and add the customer need and fill out more information about the actual lead. Click on save and it should be done. And this is exactly how to work with Creatio. And then at the end of the day, you can just go to the homepage, see all about it. And you have all the information that you need if you have, if you want to, uh, or if you want information from a specific area, for example, contacts, go to contacts and you will have all that you need with the folders and all. So this is pretty much the basics of uh, Creatio and how to get started. Uh, it's just very simple stuff here. So I hope that you have found this video to be useful or helpful. And thanks for watching.